Hi, this is Sam. Um, this is a video for a YouTube friend named Tommy Jameson. And she has a uh, dissociative identity disorder. And I came across her videos from looking at other people's videos on DID because a few of my friends have it. And like they recommended the channels, and she's really nice. She writes, she does videos on all kinds of mental illness. And, you know, I watched her video. Oh, no. Um, I watched her video on, she has a really great video on having a breakdown, like a mental illness breakdown, and how you change after that, and like how you can recover, and how it's not a fast process, and how it like affects your whole life. And when I had my breakdown in 2013, I wrote her, and she was really encouraging. Um, and she's really sweet. So she wrote a book just recently, I think she published it like the beginning of the month, called Pieces of Me Still Awake. It's on Kindle, and it is her story. Um, and I started reading it um, on the Kindle app. It says like how far into the book you are. And I started reading it on the van ride to program, I think it was Monday. And I got 30% into it, and I stopped because I had to stop reading it. Um, I don't have DID, and I don't have, um, I have PTSD, but from, it's from emotional abuse, so it's really different. I don't have PTSD from physical or sexual abuse. However, I know a lot of my friends that do, um, and, but even so, like, even though it wasn't personal, I just had to stop at some point because just reading about everything that she went through, everything that our sister went through, was like the most horrible abuse you can imagine was done to these kids and to like other kids and it was almost like her parents I think I don't know like if it's ritual abuse but like I think it's like possible ritual abuse of like what happened to these kids and like things that happened um and it told sort of like the parents stories like the mother and the father and how they grew up and like obviously in no way even is anything about like excusing what they did but it kind of has like compassion and a way for like they were abused just like you know Tommy was and I think it's just a matter of like somehow getting on a good path of like knowing in yourself that like you're not going to repeat that stuff and like somehow they she was able to get help or maybe it was the the DID that like kept her intact and it kept her to like be not an abuser because like I don't know like this p other parts of her could like take it and you know still keep like who she was before she was abused like pretty much like not as a whole person but like you know like one part could keep like different things about who she was or like keep the memories of this stuff like away from her so like this part this part of her that like um you know was like innocent or like not abused could like be still the same not still the same but like you know not totally go away and so then like when she got older and like understood like the memories and stuff she didn't like abuse other people because she wasn't her mind wasn't like totally warped to like this way of thinking or like too much that like she just couldn't like reach out for help you know sorry if i just like totally didn't make sense but i'm trying to explain that like you know the did like saved her mind basically from like being an abuser i feel like um and so it talked it jumps around a lot but it makes sense because her life jumped around a lot and her sense of time jumped around a lot because she had 200 alters um that you know took the pain for her took all the memories and took everything so that she could live somewhat of an existence that was somewhat you know normal if that's a word you know or somewhat you know go through day to day go to school you know everything else like that but she'd have these big gaps where she'd block out and everything. And um, it talked about um, the different alters would write, saying like how they were born, and that basically like one alter would appear, would be created when like another one couldn't handle like a, a certain event or a memory or something. And then they would create that alter because they couldn't, they couldn't handle it. Um, so that alter would like handle it. And it talked about like their internal world, like they have like a meadow that they go to and um like hang out as like a safe place and they have a house and um with different rooms like when beth was created um she was created from lauren and they were twins and lauren was like 
um, like took her into the house and was like, oh, yeah, you're my sister, and like gave her a big hug, and was like, okay, I'll show you my room, and like they had, she had a room with like a bed and desk and stuff, and then she's like, okay, and like this, vroom, like and then that's the room like appeared right next to Lauren's room, it was like the same thing. So they, it has like all these stores and all these different rooms and like hiding places for people. So I've only been like 30% into it, and I'm just really amazed at like her writing and her honesty and being able to come out with all this and like say it and you know like be a voice for people that like probably don't even know they have did like might not even know they're abused you know they could read this book and be like wow like i was abused or like you know this reminds me of like a friend or something that you know has these blackouts and i don't know why and now maybe i will like understand them more and not be like are you nuts but instead be like maybe you need to get some help you know or, you know, maybe they can understand, like, their own behavior better or just, I don't know. Um, it's just so honest and raw and amazing that she and her system put this out there. I mean, it was enough that they put out the videos, and the videos are just amazing. Um, but the um, this book is wonderful, and I've only read 30% of it, like I said. And she posted a video about when she started the book, or when she published it, she posted a video for everybody. And she was like, you know, this book is like one big trigger warning. And like, it definitely is. Like, if you experience like any kind of sexual abuse or like physical abuse, like every page like has that stuff on it. So to like really be careful reading it. Um, and, you know, like I said, even I had to stop reading it for a while. But, um, you know, knowing her, you know, it's not like an author where you just read this book and it was written like 30 years ago or, you know, or just somebody that you don't even know, you know, you can't even contact on Facebook or anything. So you don't know how they're doing. Like, knowing now, like, that she's doing pretty good, okay, you know, and she has a wife and, like, they're married and she, you know, um, has learned so much about her system and can pass that knowledge on to other people and she continues to go to therapy and she continues to honor herself and like what she needs to grow and keep changing is like a, such a great role model for all of us that have mental illness and like definitely she has not had like easy and she it's totally honest about that and i really like how it's not a book where like a therapist wrote down like this case study of like yeah. a client and wrote like oh this is how i saw it and like yeah i saw this client for years and they remembered all their trauma and like their alters talked to me and then they all integrated which is like a bunch of the stories that i hear or that i've read and that my friends with did have read about did like then this is a book where like her actual writing and like her alters talking and her saying like her experiences with different therapists or like her life not somebody else saying it and i think that that's What's most important is, you know, it seems like with DID in particular, it's a lot, like, you we read a lot of memoirs about, like, bipolar, people writing about their experience with, like, depression, bipolar, whatever, but with DID, it seems like everyone is just, like, the therapist writing it, and that's why I think so many therapists think, like, oh, I have a DID client, like, we're going to do integration, or, like, that's all they hear about or read about, instead of just hearing about, you know, doing things at the client's pace doing things in the way that the client feels good about and the whole system feels good about because it's like their life it's not this other person's life so like i said that's my thoughts on pieces of me still awake i will tag i'll write the book title and then i'll write um her name and i'll make sure that she gets it um and yeah it should be really good so i will let you know how i feel about the rest of the book um when i'm done reading it Thank you. Bye, Tommy. Bye, everybody. Bye. Ribbon, help web stop button.